Hi, I'm Marshall Brodeen. You know, most magic tricks are easy once you know the secret. And right now I'm going to show you a few of my favorite tricks in your new Marshall Brodeen magic set. And then, right after that, I'm going to teach you how to do them. So watch closely. Let's take any handkerchief, place it in your hand, and like magic, you made it disappear. Borrow a dollar bill from a friend, crumble it up, stuff it in your hand, and say, sorry, it disappeared. Here's the secret to the vanishing handkerchief. You have this little black cup that comes in the set with a piece of elastic. You run the elastic through the inside and out the back of the cup. On the other end, you tie a knot that goes inside the vanisher. That holds it together. Then you have an adult. Take any pin you have around the house and tie it on the end. And then you insert it, hang it on the back of the inside of your coat. Let me show you. This is the way it looks. When you reach under your coat, there's the vanisher. You put the handkerchief in your hand, and you just let it go, like magic. Okay. These are the magician's magic cards. Notice all the cards are different. Have someone take out a card, like the Eight of Diamonds. Place it back in the deck, tap the deck, it comes to the top. Put it back in the middle, and look, it's back on top again. This time, cut the deck, take the top card, the Nine of Spades, tap it, it changes to the Eight of Diamonds. But look, they all change to the Eight of Diamonds, every card in the deck. Now all you have to do is cut the deck, and the cards are all different again. When you remove your deck from the box, you will notice that half the deck are all different cards. The other half are all the same. This is called your key card. Your key cards are cut shorter in length than the regular cards. So when you put the deck together, you put a key card, a regular card, key card, regular card, key card, regular card, all the way through until every other card is the key card. Here's a deck put together with the key card, every other card. When you riffle the cards this way, they look all different because two cards are dropping at a time. The regular card is longer in length. Wherever you stop, you get an eight. Wherever you stop, you always get an eight because the eight stays on top of the different cards. When you take the top card to show it as a two and slide it off, it becomes an eight. Because of the different card being longer, when you pick it up, you automatically pick two cards that look like one. When you set it down, you slide it off, it becomes the key card. You place it on the bottom, you turn the deck around, and riffle the cards this way, and they're all the same. Now when you turn the deck around and cut it again, you riffle it this way, and they're all different. It's as easy as that. Here's the amazing drawer box. Watch. Open the box and show it completely empty. Close the box, and like magic, would you like some candy? Here's the secret of the drawer box. You open up the box, there's actually two drawers, one inside the other. On the back is a little hole you put your finger in, so when you open the box, it shows it empty. When you take your finger away, it's full of candy. Whenever you show both sides of the box, you can hide the hole by holding both your fingers over it. It's as simple as that. Here's a trick that's a lot of fun. I, in this bag, I have some suckers. I have a grape one, and, uh, ooh, I like lime. And uh, let me see, uh, oh, how about a lemon? Lemon is great. And of course, my favorite one, the orange. I think I'll just take that one home with me. And by the way, I wonder what happened to the rest of them. Okay, here's the secret of the sucker trick. You can use any paper bag you have around the house and, of course, the magic suckers. There's actually two on either end. You put this in the bag. When you reach in, you cover, you hide the one on the bottom. You say there's an orange one, but actually the other one's hidden in your hand, but it looks like one sucker. When you put this back in the bag, you turn it around, and you got the yellow one. When you put the yellow one back in, in the bag you turn this around, like this, and you come out and say, oh, there's the grape one. And you put that in there, you just turn that around, that's the last one, you put in your pocket, which is all four suckers going in your pocket, and they wonder where they go. Here's the famous cups and balls. Three plastic cups and three balls. Place a ball on top, it goes right through. Place a second ball on top, it goes to the bottom. Place the third ball on top of two cups, and look, they always stay together. Isn't that amazing? Here's the secret of the cups and balls. You actually have four balls instead of three, and three solid plastic cups. I'm going to use clear cups that are the same cups, but you can see through them. This way you will see how it's done. You have a hidden ball in between the top cup and the middle cup. So when you set the cups down, 
They don't see that ball. When you place a ball on top and you say, look, it went through, it really didn't. It's in that center cup there. Then you take the cup and put it on top of the next ball, put a ball on top, and the second one goes through. Then you again put that ball on top of there and say, I'm going to make it go through two cups. You go like that, and they always stay together. Actually, it's hidden right in there. And if you want to, as you t set these down, you can just let one ball drop behind your table and show all the three cups empty. Hey, show your magic hat completely empty, nothing inside. And like magic, you made candy appear out of nowhere. Then take your magic hat and throw a little candy inside the hat. And like magic, you got a rabbit. Here's the secret of the candy and rabbit from a hat. Fill the bottom of the hat with candy. Then take this plastic insert and place it down in over the candy. There's a little flap on the side of the plastic insert where you can grab it to release the candy. Take the rabbit, put a piece of plastic thread or a fishing line around the ears or any kind of a stepped animal that'll fit in the hat, put it behind the table. Now your audience is in front of you, of course. You show the hat empty, and you say, watch, nothing in the hat. When you turn it over, you grab the flip, Candy falls out and you drop the insert under the table. You set the hat over here, your finger goes in the little piece of thread and puts the rabbit as you pick it up, hides it as it puts it right inside the hat. Then you grab some candy, pour it in the hat and you say, look, the rabbit's appeared in the hat. Here's the amazing floating hat. Look, it starts to float away. Oh wait, you gotta grab it before it goes away on you. And now you'll be able to make soda cans appear to float in the air like magic. Here's the secret of the floating hat and the floating soda can. This is a gimmick shaped like a thumb that fits over your thumb. A little suction cup which you insert into the hole on the end of it. Now you have what is called the floating device. If it's a little loose in your hand, put a little paper, maybe tissue paper, it'll make it tighter. Then you take it and you put it, push it against a can, wet the suction cup a little bit, and then it gives the effect of floating in the air. Here's a great trick. It's called changing places. We have a can of apple juice, an empty glass, and a couple tubes. We're going to cover the can of apple juice, cover the empty glass, and with the magic wand waved over a few times, what happens? The glass is over here where the can was. The can is over here where the glass was. Now comes the hardest part of the trick. We cover up the can of apple juice, we cover up the glass. Wave the magic wand, and what happens? The can is back here, and the glass is back there. Isn't that amazing? Here's the secret of changing places. You have two empty tubes, you have two cans and two glasses. You cover the one glass with a can, you take the other can and you put it inside the tube. Now it looks like you have one can and one glass. You take the empty tube, you place it over the can, when you pick up this can, this tube, you squeeze it. Squeezing it keeps the can from falling out. Holds the can in the tube, you place it over there. Then you say, away with the, with the magic wand. And they change places. You squeeze the tube here, which keeps the can in there. The glass is now there. And you don't squeeze this one, and the can is over there. Now you're going to make them go back. You cover up the can. You cover up the glass. This time you squeeze the tube here with the can. You take the can away and you just take the tube off of there and they're right back where they started from. It's as simple as that. Here's the amazing, mysterious cauldron. Look, there's nothing inside the cauldron. As you can see, completely empty. We're going to pour some water inside the cauldron. Mix it up and watch what happens. The water disappears. Nothing inside the cauldron. But whenever you want the water, you get it back, but a different color. A lot of people wonder, how does the cauldron make it change colors? Others wonder how the cauldron floats in the air like magic. Here's the secret of the magic cauldron. On the inside of this cauldron, there's a secret compartment built in. You'll notice it right up here. Can you see it there? That's where the water goes. What you do is you pour the water. First thing you do, you show the thing completely empty, but you show it this way with the secret compartments down here. When they look at it from the audience, it looks totally empty. Then you take and put a couple drops of food dye in the bottom of the cauldron like this. I'll use red. 
Okay? Now, you show the cauldron empty, completely empty, nothing inside. When you pour the water in, the water mixes with the food dye. You twist it around a little bit, and as you turn it over, you turn it so that the water goes into the compartment. By turning it over like this, the water is now inside the compartment, even though it sounds like it's empty. Then when you turn it back up, you turn this side and pour it back out, and there it is, the water has changed colors, red right inside the magic cauldron. Then you set the water down and say, this cauldron has mysterious powers. It appears to float in the air like that. What it is, in the one handle of the cauldron, there's a hole where you stick your thumb. And by going like this, it gives the illusion of the cauldron floating in the air. And that's all that's to it. It's easy once you know the secret. You have just seen a few of my favorite tricks in the Marshall Brodeen magic set. So refer to your instruction booklet and learn more about all the rest of those tricks. And have hours of fun entertaining your family and friends. And have fun with magic. And thank you for watching.